Okay. Um, I just want to say thank you, God. I said, um, the way I, the reason I want to start this with thanking God is, it's because I, I get to see things for what they are, at least for a time period. I start the individual, that life, I just like rewired in some way, many ways. But the, this, this, the level of gaslighting that we endure is magical. But if you understand that this is gaslighting, you get it. And you got to understand they're going to use everything against you to make you feel that for about everything possible. And it doesn't have to do with anything in regard of what they try to gaslight you about. But they can use that to make you try to think in this doubtful way. It's been so illogical. And it's funny how they try to, like, and even the gaslighting is like when I noticed that one thing they've been said, it's like, oh, he's so wise. Well, I'm not wise. You just made yourself damn near retarded. You've made yourself childlike. You know, at this point, it's validated that the manipulation of the brain is so disturbingly happening and confirmed that this this rewiring of your brain your brain is being manipulated your brain is no longer yours they are playing with your brain there is whatever terminology they call it eeg cloning hair dining whatever this terminal it's confirmed that the this is about cognitive manipulation altering the mind has been the, this program's goal and what's been happening to us talking to jokes a lot of us with v2k are no longer thinking the way we think naturally. We're not reacting the way we react naturally. We are being manipulated to have reactions that are manipulated onto us. The thought process is, is rewired. This is not me just saying that. Others have said that to the point where there's people who have just questioned and talked to, to target individual and have noticed that, okay, there's some kind of cognitive manipulation happening, meaning that your brain uh, as a target individual is being rewired to experience a reaction that's designed for you to experience a thought that is you know so it's it's validating to the point where you have these perps in my case at least who are you know co-workers and i'm putting quotes on that because you know uh, the truth is i was employed by this current employer for them to break me down it was part of how they're going to break me down on top of that i think it's part of like destroying destroying my career and I understood that. That's why shortly after being hired, I made a video about it. It's funny now there's new employer, there's no sorry, there's no co-workers because some of them have quit. Have the, some of them are left. The smartest one left actually, the smart one. So there's new ones here. And they come in and like, you know, it's they sound very strong, but soon after they understand like hey, we look stupid. And for those who stay stay longer, they've been the one dealing with certain things. And uh, I don't need to go into details. But um, you have these newcomers, these co-workers of yours who come in with this like energy of like, oh, we're going to dumb him down, we're going to gaslight him. It's like, no, you're going to dumb yourself down even worse because you get so validated. And so I'm at work and, for example, I have a question. I'm new to something. <laughs> they could use you asking a question that's just for you to confirm if you're looking at things the right way. As you see, that's proof, you see. It's like I'm literally asking you because I want to know. I'm new to this thing. I've just joined this 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 thing. I'm asking. Maybe I'm I'm, I'm looking wrong. I'm not. I don't know if I'm looking right or no. I'm too new to understand if this is something I'm doing as a mistake or this is looking this way, right? This is typical thing, and they would use that against you, or somebody will come and make the best graph and 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 you 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 for example make an error here and there or something like that. They're like, I oh, see. That's proof. That means that this is. I'm like, really. You delusional trash. Especially this, like I've noticed, for example, they will try to impress you with the ability to be able to do these things in this work environment. But you see how dumb down they become, to the point where they get I'm embarrassed when I just bring up the the obvious pattern of what's going on here as target individual. You will see that there'll be validation that us over there. Now your brain is rewired. Anytime you make a mistake, they're gonna be like, "Oh, you see, that's proof." Like, what, what is it? First of all, I'm, I don't even know how I'm able to function there right now. So, I was first of all, I'm, I'm going to make errors, but on top of that, I'm being tortured and fried up, and my brain is not even mine. It's being fried up and manipulated. Second of all, what does that have to do with what's happening to me? We're talking about the sales of this uh, book. So, that's supposed to make me identify with this manipulation that I know. 
And you see these people try to gaslight you and to say, yeah, do this and that. I was like, you're such a clown. But I understand, right now you're God. <laughs> but how much validation do you need to understand that you're going to get yours? For me, you're going to see me go through horrible things. And you know what? Because it's designed this way. The same program where you hear women being tortured, children being tortured, people causing mass shooting, I'm in this program. And you know that the things you do is so cowardly that even defenseless women are being tortured by low life like you. There is nothing as, there's no out of bravery, there's cowardice. Children literally are involved in the same program that torture babies. And you tell me this is what's going to make you validate it? With all these things, all of the things that you, makes you dumb, that, that makes you call me a wise person in a sarcastic way. This is the stupid thing that's going to try to make you feel better? You're delusional. First of all, first of all, I'll make a mistake. I'm a human being. You know that? I know, like, you think I, I, I'm expecting to not... This is not going to make me feel doubtful about what's happening. This one thing that I have no doubt about is that my brain is being manipulated by governmental entities that torture even children. I have zero doubt. Please. There's no error. There's no question that I don't know in regard to this work thing that's going to make me feel doubtful. That If that's what you feel better about, if that's what makes you feel better, that you're not in a program that literally is run by governmental entities that have top-tier issues with child porn, if you think that the, I don't know the mass shooting will cause, like, like, because of that, please see how, how things comes back to you. But it's okay. Dumb yourself down just enough until the day comes. But I will not let these people live their fantasy. I will make sure it's like, really? That, that, you think this is what's going to make me die for, but what's obvious? That my targeting come from this place? This place does this? I'm one of so many that is going through the same thing because I'm a test subject, I'm like a guinea pig, where this is like basically I'm in a lab, but no, no lab. Where my brain is being utilized in this way, my body is being destroyed. Do you think I have to look at you like, oh, that's some feminist, strong fan for that because I did this, uh, let me just say, this um, uh, query wrong on Tableau? You see, that's, that's what's going to make me subscribe to it. Okay, watch me how, being, being, how smart I've become. And try to talk to me, oh, you see, we pray. I'm like, oh, God, really? Listen, uh, first of all, if I was making mistakes before, if I'm making errors before, two days is going to be a million times worse because of my, my brain manipulated. And I know that even I can be forced to make mistakes that I wouldn't be not make it unless I'm being manipulated. But I would make mistakes either way, even in the past. I have accepted reality for what it is. I will never delude myself of, of, of this false reality. I was never perfect in regard of doing things perfectly before, and today's going to be worse. That's uh, the reality of things. Second of all, I know that your job is to gaslight me. What do you do when you gaslight, gaslight somebody? Anytime somebody makes an error, you try to use that to, to gaslight an individual. That's typical gaslighting. Now, you're making the mistake to think I'm the type of person who will be like, oh my gosh, I made an error. Oh gosh, this is false then. <laughs> I expect to make errors. Matter, matter of fact, this is why I'm asking questions, especially when I start something. If this is what makes you feel better, who? I'm sorry, boo. I'm not gonna let you leave your fantasy. If you try to say something in different ways, I'm like, oh no, excuse me. Actually, that's not true. And if when I see this woman with their children, as I'm saying that they try to manipulate. Try to tell her, that's abuse. I go, yeah, really? Like, and, and doing this horrible things to a four-year-old, what, what is it again? Oh, you're protecting kids. That's maybe why there's so many pedophiles in these DOD entities. Or maybe they're not rewiring the brain. They are, they, they are mining the brain. It's EEG mining, not EEG uh, cloning of her, that, uh, her dining. That you will not do the pedophilia type of torture. You're protecting kids using this technology that torture children. This noise campaign you just heard is going to box in this bullshit. That you're going to make me pay for what I did as a child while being involved in a program that torture children. You see how much of a genius and wise man I am? Right now, if I make a mistake writing something, what? They're going to be used, they could use that against me. It's like, oh, you see, that's perfect. Pay. Don't be silly.
You're a fucking opportunist. And I will never identify with money. You think you're going to make me identify with these manipulations? There is no another time to get gaslighting this. Especially when I have all this validation. This is why I thank God. Because the validation we have as target individual to be reassured that this is not... First of all, you know yourself as a human being. As a human being, you know who you are. Especially at a certain age. But because it surrounds you with people around you trying to make you accept this manipulation, it, you can forget yourself because they are erasing your memories. You, you start losing who you are. But the blessing and why I'm so thankful to God is there is some validation that are just surreal. When people start saying they're doing the pedophilia type of torture, and you're like, what? Why don't people say, no, they have this thing where not only they can capture and monitor your neural network, but they can actually manipulate it and put it back in your head to make you experience a design reaction. They can make you have, they, can, they rewind your thought process. I'm like, Jesus, how much more? Then you hear that they torture children. Then myself, I'm in the, I'm, this is the TI 2020. I'm like, here, this is killing men, women, and children all around the world. And then after me, there's a woman in Malaysia saying, me and my whole family are being targeted. And then there's a woman in Chicago saying, I'm a woman who's being tortured every day under the roof of my home in Chicago. So I'm like, Ugh. Then you find out that, matter of fact, these entities that have been working on this technology since the 60s, we're talking about DARPA, the DOD, happens to have some issues that are surreal and dis disgusting. Apparently, DARP, the, the DOD as a whole has, have, has had issues with child porn being trafficked using the same governmental devices given to them by the DOD. Matter of fact, they're so prevalent with child porn that a child protective service is ranking them as like top tier in regard to child porn trafficking. What the fuck? And I'm not supposed to be all oh, you're protecting with this. Yeah, okay. This is too much. Oh, because of this? First of all, my brain is frying up, so you <laughs> functioning is going to be like, oh gosh. Second of all, I was making a mistake before. You think I'm, today I'm going to be like even better? I'm going to be worse. I know who I am. And you, an opportunist in a program that does this whole thing. Should you go make me believe why? Because you look this way? Because you're a mother? Oh gosh. Did you see this defenseless woman being tortured? That being vilified? A woman with children herself say they do this program perversion and all of a sudden they make me have this sexual stimulation to children. She has children. You delusional trash. For me, it's before this happens to me, to the point where I can't recognize reality. I need to continuously put things in perspective. I have to. This is my purpose. That regardless of how stupid way they try to gaslight me. This trash talk, talk about cooking me. I'd rather get cooked than be involved in a program that cook a four-year-old Down syndrome child or three-year-old. Cooking with this radiation. I will jump in the fire before I let you leave that fantasy because you know who you're working for. You, for sorry, you know what this program does to even babies. But you think you, 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 you... I can let you go into the escapism. You cannot vilify me when you're involved in a program that does this and I know how you rewire the brain. You think you can gaslight me? Who the fuck are you for you to, to think I can respect you? I know your sole purpose is to break me down. I'm not perfect by no means. I know my imperfections, all of them. And trust me, it's none of this nasty manipulation you make me experience. I know I've never been perfect before. And I'm telling you that you will never make me identify with this manipulation. That's just why I'm thankful to God because I've been asking God to give me strength to never let myself get lost in the nastiness. I know my brain can be rewired. My logic can be rewired in ways to make me acceptable of this stupidity. But thank you for being there because when I get lost, press play. Oh, what, what uh, graph did you mess, make? The wrong graph you create? Okay, they're going to gaslight you for that. Press play. Oh, they're going to have their dog barking. Press play. And then when all that, when, when the humiliation has been shown, guess what happens? They tell me I'm going to be tortured. Like, okay, well, well torture is not going to change anything. For me, it's going to be painful. God, give me strength for that. This is another thing I'm asking for. 
when I jump in the fire, give me strength. When I go through this pain, give me strength. But thank you in the first place for never getting lost in this nastiness. And for these people, thank you in advance. One thing this person was, is this perps, right? They, they see my body failing. They see how I'm going to be starving. I'm like, and she, you know what she said? Uh, we're not all going to starve out. <laughs> I'm like, this perp says that because she doesn't know how things are going to happen to her. Death to her is something that she sees other people go through. She don't know how she's going to die. Maybe cancer is going, she's going to have some kind of cancer that's going to make her not be able to eat and maybe end up starving. She doesn't know if she's going to have, like, she, death to her is as unknown. But for me, everything is orchestrated. But she doesn't know when the day comes for her. She has no idea. No freaking idea when she's going to die. How is she going to die? And she knows that she will die. But I have no idea. Matter of fact, she knows that there are people watching me that have died waiting for me to die. She knows there's people that are getting sick, that perhaps going through some bad things. I don't know if they're going to, but she knows that. She doesn't know a freaking idea how she's going to die. So when she says you're going to starve out because they're going to do these things with my digestive system, which is happening today, I cannot digest food. So they tell me how they're going to eat food. They're like, oh, let me eat my food. I'm like, go eat. Because the truth is, there's things to be determined. Some of these people could have died even before I die. But they've seen all my sufferings and they know they expect me to die this way. They don't know idea what's, going, what's waiting for them. But they're living a far life before dying. And when I mean far, I don't mean in a way that there's just misery and poverty. No, no, no. They're doing far things where they try to make you experience this, the most disturbing manipulations. They're living this, like, this is the scariest part for me because when you're involved in this program, I guess you have to understand that death is the goal, the end goal here. You're trying to push somebody to die. You're doing things to cause this person's death. So you should start being aware of your death. Matter of fact, the saddest part is to know that somebody who's so sick should be focused on their health. Perhaps think about how to live a dignified life should be focusing on living the best life they can live in this moment because you don't know how long you have. There's people right now doing these things to me who are going through cancer. But when they started, they didn't have cancer. Can you imagine still going through and then being involved in this thing, watching me die and getting better, like, say all these horrible things, like, okay. Target individual. That suffering is bad. I, I don't want to suffer the way I'm going to suffer. I don't. But this is a way I don't want to live. I'd rather suffer the way I'm going to suffer than live the life that this slow life lives. It's a cowardly, bottom theater way of living for a time that they don't know how long it is for them. Some will die even before I die. Some have already died before I die. But they were watching me living this destructive life where they were destroying me mentally, psychologically, and physically. They've been humiliated in ways that they don't, they, they, we get on a call with these people and then the, the part of my videos where they talk about, they are rewired, this, this is EEG cloning, herodyning, and they can rewire their brain, they, they log off immediately as if like, okay, just because you log off, you don't know that this is happening. Of course I know you, you, you log in off because you know this is obvious. You just don't want to sound stupid. You don't want to look stupid because you show me how smart you are, but you have to Turn down intellect immediately when the validation of that nature comes up. It's literally saying the brain is being rewired. They are literally rewiring the thought process, the brain. This technology can implant design, desired emotions, reactions that the people controlling this technology can make you experience. How do you think they're going to make people experience things? If the goal is to create this offensive information warfare, it's going to be disgusting. Especially when you've heard before target individuals saying there's a lot of pedophilia type of torture implemented to break down the target individual. You know what they feel of? The, 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 the mistakes you make when you create a, a, a graph. You see who's, who's I hear at war? You see how childlike these people are? What kind of dignity you see? What kind of fierce, fierceness you see in these people? 
The only fierceness about them is their voices when they talk to you. Via V2K. Now they're there. They're there, they're there. Say Roy Moore and dare say that. Exactly. For there, for there, for there. You can child like people. You don't, they don't even want to be seen. They do this thing to even babies. So the people torturing the babies in the same program, sorry, in the different program, are the dares too? Or maybe you dare to be involved in a program that torture children to torture me. You clown. In every way, it's been validated that these people are this foul human, pe foul human trash that are cowards, cowardly enough to torture even children. If they can torture babies, they can easily torture an adult. And this is why they're selling their own kids. Like, now we you don't find that we dare to infant child porn. We fierce that way. Yeah. You've heard somebody do what you do and call themselves fierce or dare? Or dare to have some kids say that you raped them or something? To, to frame you? There's nothing fierce about it. This is a cowardly. That's how you get to sign up for something special. You sign yourself up to whatever this is. The way it's going to come to you. It's just a matter of time when. Maybe you're not going to starve out, but you're going to go somewhere, and uh, another, one way or another, it's going to come to you. And this fierceness that you have remotely, you'll see how cowardly you are, for real. Tom attacking the justice strong.